Hello there, my name is Jeffrey, and today I'm going to teach you how to make an edible Easter basket. Yep, these ears look stupid. Yeah, much better. So today I'm going to show you how to make an edible Easter basket. It's pretty simple and it's actually really great for parties if you want to like give gifts and stuff like that or just have it like a centerpiece decoration. This is super easy, super simple. It doesn't really take that much time and you can do it really fast. All the supplies can be found in the description down below. So yeah, let's start. So the first thing you want to do is you want to blow up a balloon. There you go, Drifter. Keep on doing it. Keep on blowing. You almost got it. You can do it. Oh, now time to tie it. Up. Oh, can he do it? Can he do it? Let's see if he can do it. Uh, he's about to do it. No, he's about to do it. Hey, he did it. Now you just want to lightly grease your balloon. This will help make sure that the chocolate won't stick to it, or break, or destroy your whole project entirely. Trust me, I know, I've done this multiple times, and they broke multiple times. As you have your balloon set aside and already greased up, you want to have your compound chocolate separate into three separate bowls, because later on we're going to make it into three different colors! Now you want to put your chocolate into the microwave to melt them, but make sure you don't burn them, because then, it, you just burn chocolate, that's, that's, that's a waste of chocolate, why would you waste chocolate? As your chocolate's melted, now you just want to add a little bit of coloring because we want to get pastel colors, like something that's really good for Easter. Like nice pastel green, blue, and pink. And yeah, so these are the colors that I chose. As you have your chocolate ready, now you just want to put all your chocolate in a pastry bag, all in the same one, don't worry. It's not going to completely mix together. You're going to get like a nice little rainbow of colors there. But yeah, put just all in the pastry bag and cut a small little hole at the tip. Now, using your chocolate, you want to make a small disc. This is going to be the base of your Easter basket. This is just going to make sure that it won't like topple or sway or like move around. Now you want to grab that balloon because now we're going to make the nest part. So just go crazy on it. Just make a lot of swirls as you can. And also, add more layers to it. Because the more layers means it's going to become a much stronger basket. Then place your basket onto the little disc that you made before and just secure it into place for then it doesn't like wobble around. To make the handle part of the basket, you just want to pipe out a line on it. Just make sure you piped it pretty thick because this part is the most delicate part of the whole basket and when you deflate the balloon, well, it's gonna break. Then just carefully put your basket into the fridge for it could harden. As your basket's hardened, now you want to add your second layer because as I said before, the more layers you add, the more durable it will become. So, and also, we're doing this also to just like fix up any mistakes that we had before. So, like you see here, I'm just making it the basket more taller because I made it too short. And then afterwards, you just put it in the fridge. As you have your basket completely ready, you want to add a piece of duct tape to the balloon because we're going to drive a needle through it without it like popping or destroying the whole basket itself. You just want to let it deflate by itself. You don't want to rush it or else it'll just break everything. And then just remove the balloon. As you have your basket ready, now you want to stuff it with whatever candy you want. For me, I'm using cotton candy as Easter grass because I really love cotton candy. I think I might be addicted to it though. Yeah. I ate too much cotton candy that I got sick once. And let's just say I didn't stop. I have a cotton candy machine in my house. I have a cotton candy shirt. Cotton candy candle. I want everything cotton candy. Yeah, I think so. Hey, look, peeps! So yeah, you just add any candy you wanted to it. Here, I'm just adding marshmallow peeps and more marshmallows. And other candies. But yeah, there you have it. Your edible Easter basket. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And also, enjoy your Easter basket.